guys, welcome back to Sim UK. We're just on the, I think we're on the outskirts of Monaco, or maybe not. We're in the middle of bloody nowhere. This is the boat that uh, I just put together in the uh, how to style your boat video. Um, I, I probably put that up a few weeks back, but um, yeah, we're going to take this out today and do another challenge. So let's go find the challenge. Slalom to Overlau. Show how well you deal with changes of direction off the Fijian coast. Estimated distance, 3 nautical miles. Estimated time, 45 minutes. Now, <clears throat> let's start this. Do you want to overwrite your current voyage with new waypoints for the late course? Yes, I do, because I wasn't actually on a voyage. Slalom to Overlau. Use everything you've learnt and slalom your way through the course. Tip. Why not try a harder difficulty mode in options gameplay and use the trim panel to learn how to trim your sails? Now I should already have done that. So I'm on advanced. Expert is what I started off in, but expert is just get on and do it. I mean, it still gives you the trim suggestions. Uh, so I think in expert that ought to be removed, but in advanced at least, uh, you can, if you get into trouble, you can, you can come up here and uh, allow, whoops, I didn't actually mean to turn that on, and now you can't turn it off. Okay, so you can utilise that uh, if you want to, when you're in advanced. Now, where the heck am I going? Let's see this course here. So we're facing the wrong way, well we're facing into the wind, which is the right way, so we're going to have to turn around and then slalom our way up. Uh, a bit of tacking probably required. This could be quite fun, this one. Let's see what I can do here. So if I jump onto the helm... Oh, okay. So this is the first time I've been out on this boat. It's, um, it's going to be a bit different. We've got a tiller for a start, as opposed to a wheel. All the ropes are going to be in different places. There is a lot of changes Probably the worst boat I could have picked to do this today. But anyway, let's raise the anchor. Uh, and hard turn to starboard. We should find the wind and uh, an appropriate time to say ready to jibe. Jibe ho. Oh, it's a bit early. Jibe ho. Any second now, honestly, we're going to jibe. No, we're not going to jibe. I misread the wind. Okay, so we are moving. And it's so weird being on the side of the boat as opposed to smack bang in the middle. I actually prefer the view from here. I can see where I'm going, which is a nice start. Right, let's start out by getting ourselves some winds. We're not getting much there. All of the ropes are different now. All the positions are different now. Oh, what? I can't do this? Yes, I can. So we can let the, the traveller out. And try and get as much... Uh, whoops, wrong way. As much of that wind as we can. I suppose that's about the best trim we can get. 3.9 nautical miles. That's not good enough. Where the heck? Nope. Where's my Genoa? Let's come over here a second. Uh, so can we let the Genica out whilst the... No, we're going to have to... going to have to furl it. Um, how do I pull the Genoa in? I don't know any of these ropes now. This really is going to make my life more difficult. Let's just go through it this way. Main sheet. By the way, if you press Q and E, you can just uh, flick through it like so. Okay, then. We've got a main sheet, uh, main reef, jib halyard. So maybe it's the jib. So we'll pull the jib in. or let the jib come in. Uh, and then we want the Jenica up. So we're actually going to do some work today. This is not going to be straightforward. I 
and that has really boosted our speed. So look at that, 7.7, 7.8. We are absolutely flying right now. now I'm just going to change my heading slightly. So this is uh, expected to take 45 minutes to complete this mission, or challenge, I should say. 8.1, not 8.2. This is a much faster boat. We are going to fly around here. This is cool. Well, that happens occasionally. If I move my mouse too quickly, we lose it. And then it readjusts. Look how gorgeous that looks. That is so cool. I love this game. Really love this game. So, what can we do with the main sail here? I'm not sure we're going to get any better speeds than that. Telltale's dropped off a bit. I think that's about the fastest we're going to get. 7.8 knots. I'm happy with that. That might be considered slow in this boat. I don't know. But um, it's faster than I usually travel, so that's fine by me. Although I have just knocked loads off. Let's have a look at the trim. The mainsail is too flat. Try to ease out the outhaul. Would do if I could figure out where it is. Where's the outhaul? Main outhaul. Okay. All the way by the looks of things. Yes, indeed. Okay. Where's my. That's weird. They're... Okay. That's because it didn't change position, that makes sense. Back to the map. Uh, I'm not even checking out depth here, but it looks like we've got plenty of ground clearance. So nothing to worry about there. Maybe just keep an eye on it when we get to the, uh, to the end. Now, as I come swinging around this buoy, we're gonna pull in the uh, Jenica, adjust the trim and let out the jib. That's, that's the plan, guys. And I said that rather convincingly, I felt. You watch how well I do it. <laughs> or not, as the case will most likely be. So I think what I might do, start pulling in the Jenica as we approach the boy. Get nice and close on that boy. better to me. Just the main. Might actually get some speed up here. 8.4, look at that, all of a sudden. Right, Jenica in. Oh gosh, where's the Jenica? There it is. Jenica in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I wish I could still look around whilst doing this. Wow, that's taking a lot longer than I expected it to. I'm going to shoot past this boy at this rate. Hard turn to port. Oh, do you know what? I did that too early. I thought I did it too late. Let's get the jib up. All fell apart there. It was looking really good. I actually pulled the sheet in too early. Okay, the jib is up. Give it up, Batman. The jib is up. And let's go back to the main view. And turn. Turn, turn, turn. That's a good angle. Adjust the mainsail. Pull her in a bit. I think I have to adjust the traveller. We may even need to tack a bit more than this. Yeah, we're going to have to tack. What am I doing here? I'm adjusting the main sheet, but I'm not seeing the change I expected to see. Pull the traveller in a tad. 
seems to have improved things. Mm. I think that's our best trim for that. Now I'm going to have to adjust the jib. 6.8 knots heading almost into the wind. 56 degree. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. I am going to have to I'm going to have to tack back in, but um, actually we're not going to tack in. So I could just actually get on the line I want to get on, and then trim for that. That makes far more sense than what I'm currently doing. Whoa, come on, just settle down, settle down. Wow. This, this turns a lot quicker. <clears throat> going to get a lot here. What can I do with the jib? Jib, jib shoot. I think letting it out is not going to help us. I'm just going to have to have the jib in. Fully in. We, yeah, we're very shallow. We are very shallow. Very shallow. Still cruising along at 6.4 knots. It's a beautiful day. The ocean is calm. And we're testing out our sailing skills on a brand new boat. So it can't really get much better than that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Gonna see what happens. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to tack in. I am gonna have to tack in. Otherwise, we're gonna end up really having a hard time later on. Damn it! So we're just basically gonna have to go completely off course in order to get a decent run onto that next second boy there. Just trying to get my angles right. Okay, so we're over 40 degrees. Oh god. The main is looking terrible. I actually had a bit of wind there. That'll do. Not sure what the, what's happening with the jib. Jib out, the lead car out a tad, a bit more. Oh, damn it, every time you look up to see how your adjustments are faring, it then bloody starts pulling other, other, other lines. That is the most irritating thing. There we go. Right, so the main I'm happy with. The jib, not so much. Um, let's pull the lead car in. That initial technique didn't work as well. I have to change my angle here to see. It's not looking great, but then we are hitting a good 6.9 knots, and uh, I think we're already at the point where we can. Uh, we can tack back. So let's tap back round and we'll be on the right angle now to come in for this second uh, second boy. So I've learnt a lot from screwing that first one up. I'm going to try and apply it for the next one. Oh, come on, come on, come on, stop, stop, stop. So sensitive, the steering. Unbelievably sensitive. Okay, we're basically on a 40 degree there, and that's about the best we're going to get. Mainsail is nicely trimmed, can't tell 
up with the jib. I have to try and come around here. It'd be nice if there was a button for the jib as well. Um, so let the jib out tab. That has definitely made things worse. We'll just stick with that. Maybe I don't need the jib right now, I'm not sure. Heading into the wind. That's something I'm going to have to uh, investigate over time. It's never easy tacking. In a race environment, it can make or break you, I guess. But uh, this boat's definitely faster. There is no denying that. This is the Speedy Gonzales of the three. It seems quite a fair bit more forgiving, actually, this boat. Um, maybe this is better suited to a sailor of my level of expertise. It does seem, I have to say, that the camera is positioned slightly outside of the boat, uh, which is obviously not correct. I'm sure that will be adjusted in time. Right, so we are going to make a hard turn to starboard around this buoy. This time I'm going to wait until I've made the turn. Excuse me, or at least until I've passed the buoy. Then the Jenica is going to have to come out, the jib will have to come in, and we'll have to retrim to get the best we can out of the boat. But even when I'm not trimming particularly well, I'm trying to avoid this, but. See, look, according to this, I've got this all wrong, all wrong. The main, I'm trying to avoid using this, but uh, it does teach me stuff. Uh, main, main. Where's the Vang, then? Hmm, yeah, see, now that's confusing. The suggestion here is to ease the Vang, but we don't actually have a Vang, according to this. I can ease out the traveller, I suppose. I think that's not easy now. Well, that has improved things a tad. There's a lot of experimentation involved in my sailing. The curve in the mainsail is far too back. Try to pull the Cunningham. Now, I've seen the Cunningham. That's here somewhere. Cunningham. The mainsail is too round. Try to pull the outhaul. Oh, it's tricky. It's tricky. I was doing better before I started trying to trim properly. Okay, let's pull this the main in. So I think the traveller's too far out. Way too far out. That is instantly giving us better speed. If I'm travelling at 6.7 knots, have I missed that boy? Jesus, I did. Completely forgot about it for a second. If I'm if I'm travelling at seven uh, seven knots, then as far as I'm concerned, I'm nicely trimmed even if the game is telling me that I'm not. I'm sailing based on the results I'm getting. That's basically what I'm saying. Right, so we didn't go round there particularly quickly. Let's pull the jib in. Uh, any minute now. And get the Jenica out. Oh, that's interesting. There we go. Okay. That should. There we go. Speed is increasing. Five, six, six point five, six point six, six point seven. Pretty easy stuff. Mainsail. I don't think there's much we can do with the mainsail. In the current. Oh, actually, that's that's pretty good. Six point eight. If we were doing seven knots, I'd be smiling. But 6.8 is fine. And we're perfectly on course for the next boy. Now, I screwed up the first boy because I pulled the Jen Jenica in far too early. 
and we just kind of stalled um, and that didn't look cool or professional or anything so I'm going to try and get it right this time as we pass I'll pull in the Jenica and then uh, I'm going to stay, try and stay nice and tight to the buoy so that we can retain our angle our, our AWA otherwise we're going to get into the same situation we had before where we're going to have to turn sharply into the wind in order to get enough tack angle to get around the next buoy so the next leg seems to be quite a bit shorter so hopefully we'll, I'll get it right first time this time not much to talk about really whilst we uh, slalom in so uh, enjoy the sail I guess let's get the map down second thoughts let's keep the map up <laughs> and then you can see how we're going along so <clears throat> I wasn't paying enough attention to the wind angle there and we jibed without my without my consent basically so I'm now trying to balance speed with desired angle If we can get up to seven knots heading slightly off course I'll, I'll settle for that. The Jenica is a difficult one to trim. Wow I just did it again. So easy to jibe. Right, where's the Jenica? And again, Jesus, this is actually tricky. This is actually tricky. Right, I think now's the time to, uh, there we go, that's the angle we want. Wow, this thing steers so sharply. That's the angle we're after, 7.4 nautical miles, and we haven't even adjusted the main. Swing over the other side so I can see. It's looking pretty good. 7.6 knots, that is fast. I could even come in a bit here actually. Give us a bit more speed maybe, 7.8. I think maybe I need to adjust the Jenica too tight yeah maybe that's the best way to do it is have a have a feeling about the Jenica double check that the trim what, still too tight hmm Sometimes I'm not convinced by the trim suggestions, to be honest with you. Seem to lose speed by following good advice. Right, that's as close in as we can get on the map. I think that's as tight to the boy as I'm willing to get, not that I can visually see it yet. There it is. We've actually got a bit of space to play with there, so that's good. <clears throat> now I'm going to try my hardest to turn this nice and sharp and get on that angle super quick. Let's see how I get on. 6.8 knots. 
It's actually pretty slow. I, I guarantee you I was faster before I started messing with the Jenica. In fact, let's pull that Jenica back in. Let's pretend that we know more than the uh, than the game. See that 7.17? That has definitely increased our speed by doing that. Definitely 7.3, 7.4. I'm starting to think I know more about sailing than this game does. But now I'm sure I'll be proven wrong very soon. Right. Here we go. I've turned too early. I have turned too early. Now, 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 now. So I want to be doing two things at the same time here, but I can't. Whoa, crikey. We'd have had a slap down there, I think. Come on, get back online and then I can bring the Jenica in. Come on. See, if I had a key bound to the Jenica, I could be pulling it in whilst turning here. Uh, right, now I've got to find the flipping thing. Jenica comes in. Adjust the main. I think that's about the best we're going to get there. Speed is coming up slow. No, it's not. We're stuck at 3.7. And we're not actually on the angle we want to be on. Our AWA is 43 degrees. We can't turn much more than that, to be fair. 3.9. Small adjustment made a big difference. Let's bring the jib up. God, I wish I wish you could bind keys. Okay, that is a noticeable improvement. So there's a lesson learnt. 6.8 knots. We are absolutely flying now. That is perfect, bananas. And we haven't even got the jib set up properly. Let's see what the trim advice is and we'll we'll take it with a pinch of salt. The top of the jib is too tight. Try to ease out the lead car. Jib lead car. Okay, let's drop that down to 75 because I agree with that. Maybe a tad more. That is slowing us down. That is slowing us down. Ah... Uh, the jib sheet is too tight. Yeah, that's possibly true. Yeah, I think that's improved things. Seven knots, very nice. And the main needs adjusting. Seven point seven knots. We are actually flying at the moment, and we are perfectly on course. So this is. This is a vast improvement over the first turn. Vast improvement. Which is great. And obviously um, the, the exact reason why these challenges are here. To put you in situations to teach you the, the skills and the knowledge and the intuitive reactions that you need in order to successfully navigate your boat pretty much anywhere. I'm loving this guys, in case you hadn't noticed. I hope you guys are too. Sailing perhaps some of the time is not the most exciting of things to do. Uh, I just want to adjust the... I might drop that down a tad actually. There we go. That's better. I think. A tad more. No, no, no. 100% is fine. Uh, let me just adjust it. Let's flap it a bit. That's pretty good. 6.8 knots. Heading nearly into the wind. What well, we got? Bang on AWA of 40 degrees. 6.8 knots, not too bad. Uh, we could probably trim this out just a tad more. The telltales are not they're not spot on. Can we do anything with the main? That's a slight improvement. 
Not sure. I'm not confident with the jib. I'll be honest with you. Oops. Yeah, that was the wrong move. I thought it was. But you have to try these things, don't you, so that you learn. Oh, that's terrible now. What can we adjust here for the jib? Big carp lids in. We were pretty quick down that stretch, I think. So we're going to go hard to starboard. The jib's going to come in. The uh, Jenica's going to come back out. Try and catch as much of that tailwind as we can. Okay, I think now's a good time to turn. We'll let the main all the way out as we turn. too much and that so sensitive the steering on this okay good that was good jib sheet down or in I should say or maybe I could leave the jib up I don't know uh, no what did I do there I think I let the jib out which is not what I meant to do let me try that again How are we doing in terms of speed here, actually? Just trying a few things out. So the jib has given us a 6.3. The wind doesn't really be, seem to be... Um, hitting the jib as we'd like. Incidentally, uh, using the Q and E keys goes to the next line in the row. So if I'm on jib lead car, sorry, jib lead car, and I look away, if I press either of those buttons, I'll be on the next one, which is a bit annoying. It should go back to the one that you were previously on, not the next one in the line. Um, that's something I'd like to see fixed. I might point that out to the developers in case they uh, are unaware of that. I'm not entirely sure where the finish line is. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Come on, just get online. Right, let's pull the jib in. That's what I meant to pull down earlier. Get the Jenica up, and that should fly us into, into the finish line. Jenica, 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 Jenica. Also, I think... Um, if you're going to switch between lines using this method, uh, it makes sense to me that all the halyards are next to each other, because if you're going to drop the jib, chances are you're going to pull up the Jenica, I think. Uh, I could be wrong, I'm not a sailor, but it kind of makes sense to me that that would be your next most likely manoeuvre after dropping the jib. So maybe something to consider there in terms of which order um, lines are moved between or better still the best thing on the planet best idea that i can think of is if you allow us the opportunity to do it we're doing eight knots guys this is the fastest i've ever been in this game cool bananas such a cool game there's such a cool game me and do like me and do like a lot so, we've smashed that time, 45 minutes expected, we've, we're going to come in 35 minutes, maybe even sub 34 at this rate, 8.5 knots, that is definitely the fastest I've been, and we haven't even got the uh, main trimmed properly, 8.7, can we get 9, 8.8, .8. oh this is exciting, come on, 8.9, 8.9, <laughs> One more, one more for the gold. Come on, we need nine knots, guys. That is the fastest I've been in this game by a country mile. 9.1, this is just getting insane now. 
we're going to go into warp drive in a minute. 9.2. I almost feel like I want to sail straight into the uh, straight into the shallows here, which is where we're heading. Uh, I need to very quickly, very quickly drop this, or we're going to be running aground any second now. Wow. Let's turn. Where's the wind? All the way behind us. Down to 2.3 knots, that's good. Okay. So I'm going to call that a, a day, guys. Uh, that is another challenge completed, and I actually enjoyed that. And I feel like I learnt quite a bit whilst playing uh, this particular, particular challenge. Just turning into the wind, if I can, get there. And then we'll drop the the anchor and everything drops down which is great but on the hardest level I would much prefer to be forced to do that myself to be honest with you still um, these are minor improvements because the the quality of this game is there for all to see already uh, and there's no denying that this is quite possibly the best release that I have seen in quite some time so thanks very much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, goodbye for now.